Three weeks into Illinois' election season, and a Cook County judge has ordered former President Donald Trump's name removed from the ballot. Republicans, of course, reacting, but he's still on that ballot. Madison Porter has reaction to what's being done with this decision. They always talk about voter suppression, and I don't know anything more of voter suppression than having somebody you can't vote for. Republican leaders aren't happy after Cook County Judge Tracy Porter ordered to remove former President Donald Trump from the GOP ballot. I don't believe uh, judges should be getting involved with um, our local politics. I believe the people should decide who's going to be who they're going to vote for. Immediately following her ruling, Porter put it on hold as the U.S. Supreme Court rules on a similar case involving Trump's eligibility in Colorado. I believe that uh, President Trump will be on the ballot and that any vote for him won't be wasted. And if anything, this might have motivated people before to see what's really going on with politics. Until that ruling, county election leaders are saying Trump's name remains on the GOP ballot here, and voters don't need to take any action. At this point, there is no need for any citizen to be concerned or to be worried um, that their vote did not count or that their ballot would be in any way uh, altered from how they originally submitted it. But in his personal opinion, John Ackerman says he's disappointed in the judiciary branch for getting involved. To make a ruling like this and then immediately put it on hold saying, I know that this is going to be decided by the United States Supreme Court, then why didn't you just wait for the United States Supreme Court to make the ruling? For 25 News, I'm Madison Porter.